Amen. If you would stand with me, if you would stand with me. The gospel according to John, the gospel according to John. And I believe if you will pray with me and won't get quiet on me, I won't preach long. Amen. Y'all, y'all quiet, so I got to preach longer. Y'all, y'all just added 10 minutes to the sermon already. Amen. <clears throat> John chapter 20, starting at verse 24, there you find these words recorded. Amen. It says, now Thomas called the twin, one of the 12, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, we have seen the Lord. So he said to them, unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and put my fingers into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. And Jesus came, the door being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, he said, Reach your finger here and look at my hands, and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me, yet have believed. If you don't mind, I want to preach from this thought. Resurrected, wounded. Resurrected, wounded. There are three things I want to share with you before I take my seat. First, let me tell you, we've been beaten and bruised. And secondly, let me tell you, we've been buried and left. And finally, let me tell you, we're back with proof. One of the amazing things that church folk who have not read the Bible have the tendency to believe is that God resurrects us in a perfect state. But the reality is, is that the first resurrection that you and I experience down here is not about God or Christ presenting us to God. The first resurrection is about you presenting yourself to others. Oh, back up and let me get you. You see, the first resurrection is when Christ finds you where you are in your sin, in your issue, in your circumstance, and he does a Christ-like thing. He resurrects you. He turns you around, brings you back into life in him, not so he can present you to the Father, but the first time so that you can present yourself to other folks. I feel good right there. You you do realize that your best testimony is not what you say, it's the fact that you are. Oh, is there anybody in here ever went to where they used to hang out and somebody looked at you and say, I know there is a God uh, because you ought to be dead. Uh, The fact that you're still alive, uh, the fact that you still got joy, the fact that you're still in your right mind lets me know God exists. See, some of you, some of you have not had that experience uh, because you are ashamed to go where you came from. Oh, come on close, come on close. You may not go back and visit, but let me tell you, they looking at you anyhow. Mm, Some of y'all didn't get quiet. Poogie and Ray Ray and Jumba and Skeeter, they still looking at you. Uh, Bit Bit and Ron and John John, they still looking at you. Every time you walk down the street, somebody is looking at you, evaluating you. Are you still the you you used to be or has something changed? Uh, And the sign of a believer is uh, my walk ain't what it used to be. Uh, My talk ain't what it used to be. If you hit me, uh, you're going to get a different response. Why? Because God has done something on the inside of me. Is there any believers that will wave at me uh, and say, Davis, I'm not who I used to be. uh, But, oh, I thank God uh, that I met him one day uh, and he changed me. uh, Now, don't get me wrong. uh, I ain't perfect, uh, but I've been redeemed. And so, and so, and so what happens, what happens down here is that we all get beat up. Uh, I tell folks all the time I'm undefeated, but but that's somewhat of a lie because I'm undefeated physically. But is there anybody in here that understands you go through some spiritual battles? 
uh, down here. You're not holy, holy all the time. Is there anybody in here ever laid their head down one night knowing you didn't been beat to hell and you got to ask God, just don't let me die tonight. It wasn't my best day. Just don't let me die tonight. I didn't say everything right. Just don't let me die tonight. Give me one more chance. One more chance. You get beaten down here. Folk do your own down here. Folk talk about you down here. Isn't it amazing that folks will share rumors about you that ain't even true, yet the truth would have been worse than a rumor. And we get mad over a rumor when we know the truth is a whole lot worse. Some of y'all don't want to talk to me. Some of y'all don't want to talk to me. Let me help you out. Uh, the rumor was uh, that you left your wife for somebody else. Uh, but the truth was, while you was with your wife, you was with somebody else. You, you don't want to talk to me? Come on, come on, come on, stay here. The rumor was that you was a weed head, but, but the reality is you was a crack head. Oh, come on, come on, stay here. The rumor was they saw you drunk on Monday. The reality was you was drunk the rest of the week as well. Uh, you see, the rumor is never as bad as the truth really is. That's why, that's why believers can do something that non-believers can't do. Uh, I can thank God for the rumor. Because if you knew the whole truth, uh, you really wouldn't talk to me. Uh, but God is so good uh, that he'll blot out my transgressions uh, that you may not know what I've been through. Uh, but I'm glad that God knows uh, and God forgave me uh, of every one of my So we get beaten. We get beaten down here. We get, we get bruised. We get bruised down here. What, what's, what's bruised, Davis? Bruised is when you, you can't really see all the pain that I'm really going through. Uh, some, some, some Sundays you come here and you're shouting, but on the inside you're crying. That's the bruising of, of life. Some, sometimes you're saying amen, but, but you really want to say all hell. That's the bruising that, that goes on. And, 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 and real believers can tell another believer that I'm going to shout this morning, but pray for me. Because huh? I'm shouting for deliverance that's going to come. Huh? But I'm living in hell right now. Huh? I need you to pray my strength in the Lord. Because huh? trouble won't last always. Huh? And I'm going to fake it till I make it. Huh? I just need you to shout with me today and pray with me today. But just know I am going through it today. get bruised down here and then secondly you get you get buried and left uh, I tell you, I'm never gonna leave you Reverend, I'm gonna be right there with you best friend homeboy dog I'm gonna be right there with you sister girl you know you my place sister but I'm gonna be right there with you and hell didn't even show up. Just a heck up of hell showed up. And the same one said, I'm going to be there with you. Won't even take your phone calls. <laughs> won't even return your emails uh, when you go to text them they won't even respond to a text message uh, you try to im them they won't even act like they seen your message uh, isn't it amazing uh, that when everything is going good uh, everybody will stand with you uh, but the first sign of trouble uh, folks will walk out away from you uh, back up from you uh, turn their head from you uh, isn't it amazing uh, you shot it when i graduated uh, but didn't show up when I got sentenced to jail. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. It blows my mind. I was your niece when I was on the honor roll. But when I got pregnant at 16, you didn't know me. You can't say amen. I'm going to say right there and crucify every demon up in here. It's amazing how we'll claim folk on their best day and ignore them on their worst. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me help you all out. Some of y'all would rather have a young lady wear a long skirt and be a call girl than wear a mini skirt and come to church. I uh, can't say amen. I'm... 
I'm going to talk about you anyway. If you, if you act too holy, I might call your name out. It, 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 it'll blow my mind yeah, that you'd rather see her be a call girl in the street dressed pretty uh, than to dress what you think is un, uh, a soldier in a church house. But is there anybody in here uh, that even in my best suit, uh, I still am seen as a filthy rag uh, in the eyesight of God. Uh, that's why I put on Jesus uh, before I put on robe. Uh, I put on Jesus uh, before I put on the suit so that God doesn't see me. Uh, he sees a Christ on me. Folks will, folks will bury you and then leave you. It, it, it blows my mind. It blows my mind how many, how many grave diggers uh, there are in the church house. Uh, some of y'all need to go work for Jackson's because uh, y'all digging graves all the time. Every time you talk about somebody, you're digging a grave. Every time you roll your eyes, you're digging a grave. Big Mama put it this way. If you're going to go in the grave digging business, never just dig one grave. Always dig two because the one you meant for me will be the one just for you. Is there anybody in here that know if you keep praising the Lord, you will see your enemy fall in the very grave they dug for the word says he'll make your enemies your footstools. Uh, you know, I'm stepping over some folk. Uh, you tried to bury me, uh, but because you fell in first, uh, I use you as a stepping stool uh, over the grave you have for me. Uh, because there is nothing like favor, uh, and favor ain't fair. Uh, I'd rather have God's favor uh, than to have your friendship. I mean, I mean, sometimes... Sometimes you got to walk alone down here. Sometimes sometime ain't going to be no friends uh, down, down, down here. Sometimes it ain't going to be nobody you can call on in the flesh down here. But let me help you out. Uh, Jesus has never changed his phone number. Uh, it has never been disconnected. Uh, he's never put call block on you. Uh, Jesus is so good uh, that his email address ain't changed. Uh, his I am ain't changed. Uh, you can call him early in the morning. Uh, you can call him late in the evening. Uh, you can call him on a Sunday. Uh, and you can call him on Monday, and Big Mama say he's as close as the mention of his name. Folks are barrier. You thousands of folks, folks are barrier there. And it'd be one thing if you buried me and at least stay there and talk to me. But you are bury me and then leave. Um, I need to talk to some folks that got married on a Monday. He said he wasn't gonna go nowhere. 20 years later, you can't even find him. Honey, honey, talk to some folks that you met him at the mall. He had good hair, pretty teeth. Told you everything you wanted to hear until he got what he wanted and now you don't even see him. Foka, 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 leave you. You, you wanna talk to me? I'm, come on, come on, I'm talking to some fellas that you met that girl, boy, she was cool as can be. As long as she was paying that light bill. But the moment you didn't have no light bill money, you found out your best friend was cuter than you. Let me talk to some folk over here, huh? Let me talk to some real folk here. Sometimes we get so churchy, we forget the real story that, that my best friend is with my woman now and she was mine first, but then I didn't have no money and he became cuter when I didn't have no money. But I thought I was cuter the whole time until my bank account went uh, y'all, 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 y'all still lost, man. Let me help some other folk out. Uh, as long as I had ten dollars, uh, I had somebody to call me Big Daddy. But the moment I didn't have no more money, they wouldn't even call me by my name. Folk will leave you when you're no longer a benefit to them. Uh, when, when, when you're no longer a benefit to them. They will leave you. And there's one thing to leave me, but how are you going to leave me and talk about me? I mean, at least leave me and leave me alone. But don't leave me and tell me I ain't nothing on your way out the door. Is anybody here be real with me and say, you didn't have that happen to you? Told you you wasn't nothing on the way out your life? 
But is there anybody here that want to call him up now and say, look at me, what you left. You didn't know I was under construction and you didn't know God was working a work on the inside of me. I ain't all that, but guess what? You can't have it now. Every, every once in a while, when, when an old girlfriend hit me up, I look, tell them MC Hammer. They say, what's that? You can't touch this. Uh -huh. You can't, 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 can't touch this. Well, what do you mean you can't, can't, can't touch this? If you didn't want me before I had something, you can't have me now. You should have got me on the way up. But don't try to get on me when I'm on the top of the ladder. You came late. I need some folk that'll struggle with me. Is there anybody in here? There's nothing wrong with church folk. But I want the same members that when we didn't have nobody was faithful to come to Bible study, faithful to come to Wednesday night, faithful to come to Sunday school. They said, Pastor, I'm going to be here Come hell or high water. They'll bury you. And then they'll leave. Oh, it blows my mind. I'm talking about resurrected wounded. I'm still in the text. I ain't left the text. I ain't, I ain't left the text. You see, here, 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 here. Here's the problem that most of us don't have when we don't look at the text. Is that when Jesus was resurrected, he came back in the wounded body. In a glorified state. I don't know how it is that God is so awesome that he literally defies metaphysics and comes back in a wounded body that's been glorified. How do you know, Davis? Because the text says that the doors are shut, yet he appears on the other side. That's all glory. But he says to Thomas, come put your hands in the nails. Come put your hands in the side. That's wounded. But the good news is he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of peace was put upon his shoulders. But by his stripes. By, by his stripes. I'm healed. God has this ability to bring us back with proof. What do you mean, David? What do you mean? What do you mean? You see, if God just resurrects you, but don't give you any proof, who will believe you've been through something? Come close, come close, come close. <laughs> if you don't have no scars, don't nobody believe you've ever had stitches. Come, come, come close, come close. If we take off your shirt and we don't see some scars on your chest, we won't believe you had a heart attack. Y'all, 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 y'all still with me? If you don't take no pills, you don't take no shots, we don't believe you diabetic. Y'all, 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 y'all. Y'all still with me? If you 90 and you got jet black hair. No, we believe you done it. He brings you back with proof to show other folk that I'm the same one that was dead, that's been beaten and bruised, that you walked out on, but God brought me back. And the proof is, I'm here. Come on, stay here with me. Jesus shows up with all the proof that he needs. He still got the bruises that are seen he still got the marks of the nails that can be felt to let Thomas know that God has done something inside of him. What is your proof that you keep trying to hide? Because you don't want nobody to judge you. <sighs> well, y'all ain't got quiet. Y'all ain't got quiet. He will bring you out of it. 
whatever it is. Take out it, put in your stuff. He will bring you out of it. And when he brings you out of it, he'll leave evidence that you used to be it. Yo, 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 still don't want to talk to me. Let me, let me help you out. I don't care if you've been an alcoholic for 20 years and you get delivered. Let me help you out. You have no control over the damage you've already done. You have no control over the consequences of the damage and the hurt that you have done. But you can't have a positive outlook for the future. And God does this amazing thing to the drunk when he delivers them. He leaves them with a little shake. So they don't ever forget what it felt like to put a drink in the hand. And know that it's nothing but the Holy Ghost that keeps you from going back for the same drink. Not my goodness. Not my greatness. Not that I've kept all his commandments. But God's grace and the Holy Ghost keeps me from going back from where he found me. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. That, that we'll get delivered and act like he found us in church. It's, can, I, can, I, can I come down here? Can I come down here? It's amazing. It's amazing how many of y'all got them sorry testimonies that the Lord found you on a Wednesday night at Bible study and you had your Bible open and you had your prayer cloth around your neck and that's where God found you. But that ain't nothing but a lie. That may be where you opened up your mouth, but are there any real folk up in here that know God always finds you in the gutter most? Not just the gutter, but the gutter most. Whatever your sin is, that's where God finds you at. And the good news is, is that my Jesus Jesus uh, will come to where you are uh, in the middle of your sin uh, and push stuff around uh, and sit down next to you uh, and let you know uh, I'm right here with you. Uh, if you want to stay in hell, uh, I'll stay here with you. Uh, but let me tell you this, uh, I got the keys of this place and we can break out uh, whenever you get ready uh, and God will uh, grab you uh, and walk you out of hell. Uh, is there anybody in here? Uh, ever been walked out of hell uh, he'll get you to a place uh, and the word says uh, he'll establish you uh, in heavenly places uh, he found me in hell uh, but he'll walk with me uh, all the way uh, to a heavenly place uh, and he'll establish me uh, and he'll tell me uh, you can praise me now uh, I found you in hell uh, you can praise me now uh, I found you messed up uh, you can praise me now I wish I had somebody uh, that understood uh, Lazarus was raised, uh, but he had his death clothes on. Uh, I wish I had somebody. Uh, Jacob got delivered uh, and blessed, uh, but he still had a limp. Uh, God will bring you out, uh, but he'll bring you out with proof. If you see me shouting, that's just my proof. If you see me running, that's just my proof. The problem with you is you don't understand my story. All the things that I've been through. But just know this, y'all. My worship, my worship is for real. My worship is for real. I've been through too much not to worship him, not to praise him. I've been through too much not to give him glory. So I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of my bruises. I ain't ashamed of my limps. 
I ain't ashamed of my taste. I ain't ashamed of my proclivities. It's all proof that God uses cracked vessels to water in the right places. The problem with you is you won't let him use you because you want to be perfect. I'd rather be used and let him perfect me than try to perfect myself and never be used. Proof, proof, proof. He, he, he'll, 